How many fields of mathematics are there? I'm asking you, go Google it, I'll wait. Four or six or ten. Okay, that's a lot of variation when, you know... Math is math! So why don't we explain every field, their purpose, and which field is the best? If you search it up, Google will probably say there are 4 to 10 fields of maths, but the actual number of mathematical disciplines is kind of grey, which is strange considering mathematics is normally black and white. If pushed far enough, there are theoretically infinite fields of maths, some subsets of others and some subsets of those subsets. This can be described by this Quora comment. What, what, how am I supposed to read the- For the sake of this video, however, we will say that there are six fields of maths. Algebra, number theory, calculus, geometry, statistics, and combinatorics. When you start progressing through maths, things tend to get both harder and more nonsensical, which is why algebra holds a special place in my heart, is my first love, and the first time most of us saw letters in math. The term algebra loosely refers to the part of mathematics in which you have symbols, formulae, equations, all of that stuff. In fact, most of these other fields utilize algebra to some extent, making it ever more important. Of course, the best part is that algebra makes sense and is easy to understand, relatively speaking. It's because of this that I give algebra an easy S tier. Can you count from 0 to 9? Do you have 10 fingers? Good, you understand numbers. And if you can also understand arithmetic, then you understand the basics of number theory. Number theory deals with stuff like prime numbers, common factors, and number grouping. Despite this field being devoted to integers and arithmetic functions, it is not basic. Mathematicians can make stuff up from basically anything. In terms of a ranking for this field, I'd give it a... I, I have no idea. Only now am I realizing the fact that subjectively ranking an objective field was a terrible idea. Let's just give it a B tier. It's not on the same level as algebra, but still decent. Calculus has a steep learning curve, but at least you know how steep that curve is. Alright, this might annoy some of you, but I decided to put number theory in here, because it's so similar to calculus. Yes, they aren't technically the same field, and their ideas are different, but I decided to group them in order to save time and explore other fields. So calculus is basically using infinitely small change, while numerical analysis uses numbers to approximate slopes and stuff. For those of you who haven't heard of or learned calculus slash numerical analysis, the word calculus is defined as math getting drunk and accidentally spouting the secrets of the universe. It's the idea that when something becomes small to the point of zero, normally some variable called dx or dy or d whatever, there's a lot of d's, it still represents something even though it theoretically holds no information. Kind of like politics. Calculus is a great field and explores the beauty of mathematics in a lot of ways, but it does have its flaws. Firstly, too many things are named after mathematicians. Look, I won't name anyone. Euler, but sometimes the naming seemed inefficient, like I recognize this notation as the D notation, and this one is the dot notation, not Leibniz notation, or this guy. My opinion may be invalid, still an easy A to you. I don't really like geometry. It's a bit too graphic. Jokes aside, geometry is pretty cool. I personally like this animation more than this formula, and that's why geometry is arguably up there with algebra. Several cool branches come from this field, such as trigonometry, coordinate geometry, and oh god. Definitely a solid B tier. Hey, did you know that 99.9% .9 of germs die after you use soap? Every time you wash your hands, you commit genocide. <laughs> Statistics are important. They tell you the stock market, they help you stop gambling, and they show me why Skibbity Coin is a terrible investment. Despite its undoubted utility and importance, statistics and probability doesn't really have anything mathematically special. Most of its use is derived from data outside of math, which makes the field rather lacking in distinction. I mean, it has normal distributions, normalization, and standard deviation, 
but it feels formulaic compared to algebra and too derivative compared to calculus. Uh, see what I did there? It feels wrong to give one of the most applicable fields a low rank, but I feel it belongs in the D tier. Look, one of these fields had to be an F tier. Combinatorics is the study of combinations and permutations. As an example, how many ways can ABC be arranged? Well, you have ABC, ACB, BAC, BCA, CAB, BCC, or this amount of arrangements. This is actually called a permutation, and is one of the main operations alongside combinations. I won't deny the usefulness of knowing what these huge numbers represent, but combinatorics is just so bland, its whole field can be described with one sentence. How many ways can A be done with B conditions? Combinatorics somehow only utilizes two main formulas, one literally being a direct division of the other. It takes around two weeks to learn this field in school, and even though it gets used in other fields, that's about it. F you. Well, I just annoyed all of those combinatoric fans. Anyways, to recap, here's the tier list, algebra at the top and combinatorics at the bottom.